continue with the serious analysis uh, now uh, there are some uh, famous series uh, we still use till now like the harmonic series which is uh, basically related to the basal problem uh, and the story behind uh, that problem is that this problem was a challenge for all famous mathematician in that time and its name come from the hometown of Ehlers as well as of Bernoulli family who couldn't come with an answer for this serious summation of 1 over n square where n goes from 1 to infinity but Ehlers was the only one did and he came he came up with pi square over 6 and here the proof if we take uh, sine of x and expand that using Taylor series we get x minus x cube over 3 factorial plus x5 over 5 factorial minus x7 over 7 factorial and extra and then if we divide sine x over uh, uh, by x we'll get 1 minus x square over 3 factorial plus x4 uh, over 5 factorial minus x6 over 7 factorial and extra and Ehlers uh, realized that the root of uh, sine x over x occur uh, uh, occur at x equal to n multiplied by pi where n could be equal to plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 and extra and then he could factor out the sine x over x and he got 1 minus x over pi multiplied by 1 plus x over pi multiplied by 1 minus x over 2 pi multiplied by 1 plus x over 2 pi and extra so if we plug for example x uh, uh, instead of x here in this factor and n pi you know and take n equal to 1 corresponding to the series we have here 1 over n square you know we get 0 multiply by all these factors we get 0 and the same here we get sine pi I mean x equal to n pi if n equal to 1 then x equal to pi then sine of pi equal to 0 0 over pi 0 0 equal to 0 so that equation is true for x equal to n pi where n equal to mi minus plus 1 or plus minus or minus 2 and extra and after that we can get from these two factor multiply these two factor will get 1 minus x square over pi square the same with these two factor here we get 1 minus x square over 4 pi square and the same with these factor 2 and extra so we'll get now these factors here and now if we do the multiplication of these factor we can easily collect the x square term which is gonna be equal to uh, minus uh, x square over pi square uh, plus x square over 4 pi square plus x square over 9 pi square and extra in the factor and now uh, <coughs> if we go back to the uh, first equation we have here sine x over x equal to 1 minus x square over 3 factorial extra we, we just need to compare the x square term to what we uh, got here from this equation here so if we do the comparison we get this equation here uh, x square over pi square plus x square uh, over 4 pi square plus x square over 9 pi square equal to x square over 3 factorial and then we'll get 1 over pi square e e factor uh, uh, 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 9 extra equal to 1 over 3 factorial which is equal to 1 over 6 and 
here we get the series summation here 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 9 x terra equal to pi square over 6 so here's the answer of the summation of the seri series 1 over n square where n uh, goes from 1 to infinity and that's we, what we call now of uh, z of 2 the 2 is corresponding to the uh, power of 2 and uh, actually then uh, Euler idea were taken up years later by uh, Bernard Riemann who defined the zeta function and proved it uh, and proved its basic property and here what uh, Riemann got what how he defined uh, his zeta function z, z of s equal to summation of 1 over n to the power s where s goes from uh, 1 to infinity In addition, there are some other famous uh, formula related to this uh, area, like the Euler-Maclaurin summation formula to approximate the uh, the definite integral. Also, uh, Euler uh, used Taylor series to expand the ex, and he get the one plus uh, x over one factorial plus x square over two factorial and x theorem. Uh, now thinking about the uh, symbol and notation Euler used in uh, his formula in that time you realize you, you uh, realize that modern mathematicians still use uh, what uh, he was using from symbol and notation like pi i for the square root of 1 delta y for uh, the change in y fx to define a function and a summation symbol and the e number which is equal to 2.718 also a venn diagram uh, it was known for uh, before for uh, Euler and it was called by uh, Eulerian uh, circle uh, even Venn himself uh, uh, before uh, called it uh, by uh, Eulerian circle and uh, somehow later uh, uh, they call it by Venn diagram in conclusion Euler contribution are still alive today in form of notation formula theorem as we seen and uh, very important for further development of mathematics and the quotation below is one proof of what we just said Euler he's uh, the master of us all and that's by Pierre Simon Laplace the French mathematician in the end here's some uh, review question about this presentation and that's it I guess thank you for your listening and appreciate your time